We never really thought about plastic and trash getting into our oceans because we live in the middle of the United States. We thought to ourselves, why would we have to worry about the oceans? We live in the middle of Kansas. Up to 80% of ocean plastic is from inland. When we started the Geo Challenge, we went outside to see if there was plastic around our playgrounds, and boy were we shocked. We found over 15 pieces of trash in the small amount of time we were out there. That was only right outside as well. This plastic could have eventually ended up in the ocean if we hadn't picked it up. Our county recycles plastic with numbers on it, but plastic bags don't have the numbers and cannot easily be recycled. According to BiologicalDiversity.org, us Americans use 100 billion plastic bags, and according to Waste Management, only 1% of plastic bags gets turned in for recycling. Less than 1 in 7 plastic bags are recycled. The plastic bags that are in the ocean don't biodegrade. They photodegrade, which means that they will never fully be gone. They would stick the same level or higher of toxicity by becoming microplastics and absor absorbing mercury. Mercury is poisonous to fish and humans. Each year, an estimated 500 billion to 1 trillion plastic bags are consumed annually worldwide. That comes out to over 1 million a minute. Our Geo Challenge team discovered how large of a problem plastic bags are. We asked ourselves, what can we do to help? We wanted to focus our project locally because we wanted to make a difference and visually see a change. We came up with the idea of jump ropes because it would make people get outside more and not just sit around all day. To begin our project, we developed a plan to collect plastic bags and make them into jump ropes. We wanted to help inform the students of the physical problem of plastic pollution. Our starting solution was to collect plastic bottles from our school's fun run. We then made bins out of the bottles. Next, we brought in the plastic bags and encouraged our fellow students to bring some in as well. We then started our big idea. We started to make jump ropes among ourselves. We also taught a few classes how to make jump ropes. They worked together to create jump ropes for our school. We wondered to ourselves, why stop at jump ropes and only do it for a year? This project is so much more than jump ropes. So many people are unaware of the crisis of plastic pollution. If we can't get rid of plastic, we can at least educate our school about it. The dream of our Geo Challenge group is to create a plastic collection site and a student creation lab. Students can come to the lab to learn about the dilemma of plastic pollution and create useful items for both home and school. We could fix the problem by upcycling plastic into art and everyday items like totes and jump ropes. Other cool ideas you can make are beanbag filler, pillow filler, mats, and a lot of other types of items. You can also make containers, blankets, and hair ties. The ocean has been polluted by us, humans, and we have to fix the issue we have created for ourselves. We need to work together if we want to save the Earth and ourselves from plastic pollution. Many people do not know about the issue, and that is the biggest problem, because they do not know what they are doing to our, the planet, ourselves, and the animals, both above and below sea level. The plastic is getting in our food and water and killing our animals. Our solution is to educate our students and create a better community and eventually a better world.